Throughout the 20th century, asbestos has been a product extensively used across many industries. It was an easily obtained material that presented numerous applications in different sectors. Iron and steel industry, automotive, shipbuilding and aeronautics, chemical industry, construction and building services, electrical industry and textile industry. Thanks to its outstanding natural properties, including heat resistance, sound absorption and protection against corrosion, asbestos has been used in many applications worldwide, such as thermal and acoustic insulators, sprayed coatings, fibre cement, flooring materials, panels and bricks, texturised coatings and paints. However, as the years went by, the relationship between asbestos exposure and certain very serious irreversible respiratory diseases became apparent. Consequently, authorities began to prohibit both the extraction of asbestos and its use. At present, a great variety of products contains asbestos because they were installed prior to asbestos prohibition in Europe. It's believed these materials do not pose a risk as long as they remain encapsulated or undamaged and do not release inhalable fibres to the environment. Inhaled fibres deposited in the lungs over time can cause serious diseases such as lung cancer, asbestosis, malignant mesothelioma or benign pleural pathology. These diseases can occur decades after inhalation which together with the small size of the fibres, not visible to the human eye, can limit the perception of risk associated with exposure to asbestos. In 2009, the European Directive 2009-148CE came into force. This concerned the protection of workers against the risks related to asbestos exposure during work. In 2013, a new EU resolution was approved with the goal of abolishing all existing asbestos by 2023. Existing methods for detecting asbestos fibres in the environment involve air sampling and the capture of airborne fibres onto filters. These filters are subsequently analysed in the laboratory where microscopy is used to count any fibres present and X-ray analysis used to determine if the fibres are asbestos. These processes can take from hours to days to complete. Up until now, there's been no method of quickly detecting the presence of airborne asbestos fibres and therefore no way of protecting workers from unknowing exposure to asbestos. However, the alert detector has now been developed to achieve this goal. The alert detector works by using laser light scattering patterns to determine the change in angular alignment of individual airborne fibres under the influence of an applied magnetic field. The detector gives immediate warning on the likely presence of asbestos fibres and can be used both for monitoring and for inspection of working environments. The main characteristics of the alert detector are its small size, autonomy of up to eight hours of continuous use, and its ability to analyze up to 600 particles per second. Alert is an affordable device, the first in the world for the real-time detection and monitoring of airborne asbestos fibers. It's specifically designed to minimize the risk of inadvertent exposure to airborne asbestos in the work environment. Alert project has been funded by European Commission's Seventh Framework Programme. For more information on Alert and its availability, please visit www.asbestos-alert.com.